and a very good afternoon to you all. Good morning. If you're watching across on the stateside, my name is Craig Laird. This is Wake Up Call with Craig. 12pm here in the UK. I know for you guys stateside, it's still a rather bit early, being 7am uh, Eastern Time or even 4am Pacific Time as well. Either way, it's an absolute pleasure to have your company today. Now, what we're going to be doing is Wednesday. So, you know, we've got a lot of different things going on, but we're still going to be doing the same thing where we're going to be giving you a sneak peek as to what's coming up throughout the day on Craft. TV, but that being Wednesday, we have got a phenomenal craft along coming along later on with Debbie Robinson. That is then going to be with our Sarah's signature vintage diary. Now, if you want to make some kind of diary theme, and that is the one that you're going to be wanting to watch as well. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be ending the day, ending the day certainly here in the UK, being night time. It is then going to be uh, it's Debbie as well, isn't it? Debbie for the rest of the day. She's going to be on with Creative Craven. So that is uh, then coming up at 7pm here in the UK, 2pm Eastern Time, 11am Pacific Time. Good thing with Creative Cravens, just bringing it back slightly, you know, and we're showing you a lot of different things that you could be doing, whether you're a new crafter, perfect. If you want to go a little bit further, then of course you can do as well. Now, I couldn't do this show on my own. He's feeling refreshed from the beer garden. Well, He's from the beer garden. I'm not really going to say he's feeling refreshed. And his hair's gone. His hair's all gone. He's back. Joe's back. How are you? Hey, hey, hey. look oh, forward to this week. So glad to be back, Craig. It is lovely. I did think this was a beer garden. That's what I was told. So I probably wouldn't have turned up otherwise. But uh, <laughs> I'm only joking. Uh, no, it's really good. Uh, things are opening up again, uh, which is absolutely awesome. So it is great to be back uh, with you all in the studio. There's absolutely loads happening today. And so I'm really looking forward to crafting along with Debbie later with that awesome uh, vintage diary, which is going to be Fantastic. Now, it's obviously diary. Some of the times that we think about diaries, don't we, in the sense of, dear diary. Yeah. Uh, but it could, of course, be uh, planners, maybe it's birthday planners, organisers. Uh, there's going to be a whole host of different things happening for you uh, there with that as well. So uh, you'll want to join us both for that. Don't forget as well about all the awesome craft vault craft. Craft Vault deals that we've got coming up today, saving you over 30%. And it's a really good mixed bag uh, of types of products and different collections as well. So I know you're going to love that. What I also want you to do is get social with me. What kind of diaries have you had in the past? What kind of diaries do you craft? What sort of planners do you do? I would love to know over in the comments, please. And you can get in touch with me really simply over on Facebook by searching for Crafters TV or Crafters Companion on YouTube. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you boop, boop, click subscribe so you know uh, when we go live every single time. You never need to miss one of our shows then that way. So there's loads more, isn't there, Craig, coming up today? Absolutely. There really, really is. So that's your nice little selection as George just went over there. Maybe you like to do a little bit of colouring. You know, maybe you want to get your Spectrum Noirs in, you know, and do all your different either shading blend in or maybe you're wanting to do all your different uh, techniques we've got that as well but then uh, as joe just says what we are going to be looking upon as well is the vintage diaries so when we've got the collection you'll be able to see coming up on your screen in a moment so that is what we have then got on the show as well coming up i'm going to be showcasing it very very shortly on the show so if you can see on that one here so i believe i'm away to come right into shot are we coming in i'm going in there we go I knocked something over, but it's not important, so don't worry. So this is what we've got coming up. First of all, we're going to be looking at all around the craft along. So that is then going to be 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time or 7 a.m. Pacific time for you guys. Now, if you don't have your shopping list as of yet as to what you need to be crafting along with Debbie, then I want you to have a look at this. This is going to give you that little bit of a rundown as to what you need. So you can see it on your screen right now, a little bit of a picture there as to what we're going to create. What you can then do, is you can then take uh, all of uh, your scoreboards, your guillotines, all the additional parts as well. That's what you need, your Gemini Junior with your MIDI. You're going to need your full Vintage Diary collection. You're going to need Vintage Diary, that's including the paper pad, that's including the vellum as well. You're going to need your Scoremaster, guillotine, all-purpose glue, 3D glue gel and your tape pen. And then what you're also going to be needing have a look here. You're going to need your Harmony Water Reactive ink pads, the Fryer Brown. You're also going to need your Opaque Pigment ink pad Jet Black, and you're going to need your Envelope Box Creator 2. And then any additional elements that you might want to also use. This is if you're going to be crafting along exactly as to what Debbie's doing. That is your uh, matte 
gold cardstock. You're going to need your vintage diary, uh, your 12 by 12 paper pad, your vintage diary key to my heart metal die, vintage diary feathered quilled metal die and vintage diary tags and banners metal die so basically if you have the full collection like we showed you in that first set you're going to have all of that anyway but you don't have to do exactly what Debbie's doing you know you might want to change it slightly that's up to you but that's what she's going to be using to create that really phenomenal little diary if you want to do that as well but then what we're going to be doing coming up in Creative Cravings as well, that's also going to be with Debbie. So after wake up calls slash sprinkling with the craft fault deals, it's going to be Joe and Debbie taking over for the remainder of the day having a look at Creative Cravens. So that is then 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern time or 11 a.m. Pacific time. Have a look at these discovery kit. Look at the absolutely abundance of colour and goodness that you can see on here. So this one being your Spectrum Noir Discovery Kit complete collection. Now, £50 here in the UK, $70 for you guys stateside. Straight away, look at that saving you're also getting. However, for you guys being uh, in our club inspired, depending on which level you are, you're going to be paying even less than that. This is then going to open up. This is going to widen that scope of your colouring techniques. Maybe you just want to do your watercolour, maybe you want to do your different blending shading. You can do, but there's calligraphy. There's all these different ones as well that we've seen on the screen a moment ago. However, what we've also got as well we're going to be using these throughout the show in Wake Up Call. So these ones are what is now going to enable you to take your projects to the next level. Maybe it's simply just scoring in half like you're going to be doing with Debbie when it comes to the craft along. What you've got in this one here is you've got this nice set of three ones here. So you've got your embossing board collection with your scoreboard, your box board and your envelope box. So this one is what is then going to uh, do your score master. So you've got all your centimetres, you've got your inches all the way from one eighth up to an eighth. Then what we've got is the actual uh, envelope box maker. So whether it's quarter of an inch depth, half an inch depth, three quarters of an inch depth, all your different sized envelopes. And then what we've also got as well, it's another box maker for this one here. You can use this as a standalone, but this one, and actually even the envelope box, these both sit in with your Ultimate Pro. But I do want to point out as well, both of these, you don't have to have the Ultimate Pro for these to work. These are just going to sit nicely in the Ultimate Pro should you have it. But those three ones, including all those little guides with the measurements and different things that you can be making, $27.98 here in the UK. For you guys stateside, $27.90. So I do always like to say as well, right at the start of the show, for you guys across in Europe, do not worry, do not fear. Either go to crafterscompanion.com co.uk.com or .eu all of your prices wherever you are are going to be there for you to then uh, check out your basket I will always say as well certainly what we're finding on Wake Up Call more and more people are tuning in to uh, get ahead with any of these deals whether it is the uh, craft fault deals whether it shows coming up throughout the day so always remember and check out because uh, it's not actually yours until you check out. So we don't want you to be, uh, you know, stuck on that one there. So that is definitely going to be winging its way once it's, uh, once it's checked out. Talking about Craft Vault, he is now on the other side across there. Well, I go to that side and he's going to have a look at some of the deals coming up in the Craft Vault. Aren't you, Joe? I have indeed. I have come to the wall, as we call it here at Crafters TV. Loads of awesome items are available for you today in the craft art, and we're actually going to kick it off with something uh, from the Dreamies, which is awesome. And we are looking at the Christmas characters layering artboard full collection for you here. Now, this makes 21 of these awesome characters that you can see just here. Um, the only one that we haven't got out for you is the gingerbread man, uh, who is the uh, other half of the gingerbread lady that you can see just there. Let me take you through the characters that you are going to get. So you are going to, of course, get this gorgeous reindeer. I love how it's got these sassy little uh, eyelashes on here with that gel pen, super cute. Uh, you're also gonna get the snowman as well. Do you wanna build a snowman? I know I do. Uh, we've also got in there for you the gingerbread man and the gingerbread lady here. I love her cute little bow there. You're also then going to receive the penguin. Quack, quack. Do penguins make quack noises? I don't know. Maybe they do. No, I don't no, think so. I don't think they do, Joe. Do they make a ooh I think, do, do they not do that? But what noise does that make? It's 
Yeah, I like you. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's super fun. Look how cute it is. Uh, you're then also going to receive in here the Nordic Gnome. Uh, which is this one just here. I love this. Very mystical looking. Uh, and you're going to get the Lady Gnome as well, which is awesome. Uh, they're super simple to put together. There has been a full presentation on these in the past over on Crafters TV. So you'll be able to go back and find that back anytime you like. The deal is off the scale as well because platinum members today 54 40 saving you 50 pounds 76 dollars as a platinum member in the us saving you 70 dollars you're going to have loads and loads of fun uh with these and they're great fun to decorate these aren't they craig these are so fun, Joe. So, so fun. Lots of different ways that you can uh, decorate them. I'll show you one way in a moment or two. Now, I've just got a few of them here, but it gives you the idea as to how they come packaged. You get three different sizes. Now, the one that I'm going to do a little bit of a demo on just shortly is one of the bigger ones. Either way, whether it is one of the larger, medium or small, they all come packaged exactly like this one. All that you need to do as well is you just need to just... Uh, need to do any extra little bits of cutting or anything like that you simply pop them out so as you can see they all come packaged exactly the same on these ones here my ones I've already got popped out <laughs> they look very interesting shapes before they're put together don't they Craig but when they go together, <laughs> it all makes sense, Craig, doesn't it? <laughs> we are in a fun... It's going to be one of those days today, guys. It's going to be one of those days. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lynn says it didn't take long, did it, guys? No, it took, what, 11, 12 minutes, Lynn, before we lost okay, it. I'm okay, I'm okay. You all right I'm okay, now? I'm okay, I'm Brilliant. Okay. okay, so I'm not popping... <laughs> Stop popping them all back in. This is just how they come. Now there's tiny, tiny little connect, very similar to maybe like our die cut toppers with Sarah's signature or Hunky Dory. But all that you need to do is just pop them out with your finger. finger. Now they do come in just little, little bits. So what I can do is I'm going to bring in my craft mat here. Now you can do what I'm doing onto our glass mat. I can do what I'm doing on my glass mat. All that I'm doing is I'm using my craft mat as well so that I can just quickly move it to the side. So what you could, there's many different ways that you can colour them. You've got your stand at the bottom here. Now what I would say, <laughs> the move... <laughs> I can't even go back to jokes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. Come on, Craig, we got okay. this. Sorry. We got this. Sorry. Right, you ready? Um, <laughs> we got it. Back three, two, one, back in the room. The scary thing is, it's the big bosses in the gallery as well today. Oh, dear. <laughs> right, okay. Whew. Right. So, what you're going to do is, these are actually going to slit into the base. We can see here. Now, if you are going to start colouring them with things like gesso or that, what we then start to do is be careful not to paint around the bottom. Because what's going to happen is it's going to soak in to the, the, the chipboard, the artboard, and it's going to expand, and then therefore you're not going to be able to get it into place. So what you can do is if you want to come along with your gessos, whether it's whites, different colours, you can do. You can go direct on with maybe your tri-blends, classic, sparkle pens, anything like that. Just bear in mind it's going to soak up the colour. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is, one, you're going to want to give it a couple of coats. So let's take, I'm going to use my tri-blend tri brush markers for these ones here. I'd never think to use an alcohol marker on something as Absolutely. porous as like MDF, Craig, but they're yeah. perfect, aren't they? They are. Sorry, Joe, what I'm doing, I'm just looking to see if I've got a tri-blend just to show you as well when it comes to whether it's alcohol-based, whether it is um, your um, uh, aqua pens, anything like that. What I'm going to do is, let's just do the back bit here. i tell you what. Let's do this bit of a waste bit here. I'm going to go in with the, the dark red and we're going to go on. Now, the darker the colour, the easier it's going to coat the artboard that we can see here. If you keep in mind as well, the lighter we go, let's see, I've got a yellow here as well. So if you were to go in with a lighter tone, you see, you know, you can see it, but you're not going to get that vibrancy of the yellow. 
if you want a real uh, hit of colour, I would absolutely recommend go over it with a, a white gesso or something first. You're priming it. But if you do want to do what I'm uh, doing at the moment, what we're doing is let's bring in a tri-blend tri brush. And I'm going to go in with the lightest tone here. And what I'm also doing, actually, no, we're going to go with the darkest tone. And Joe, I'm not going to do it all. I'll do a corner so that I can show you how you start to layer it up. But see how even though it is, this is a water-based pen, see how you can layer the colour, no problem whatsoever. If you leave it a moment or two, it will go slightly lighter because it's going to soak into that artboard. But then what you can do is, let's go on to the next layer, and then we're going to go in with, say, the lightest tone on this one here. Ah, so rather than like when you're shading a uh, stamped image, you would allow the... Um, the lightness to give you the texture, you're doing that but by layers. Yes. What a really cool way of doing it, Craig. Doing it with layers, and then let's go round with a scarf here. Let's go in with a bit of uh, red. So what I would do, these layer on top. So I would still colour each individual layer, but it's a bit like decoupage. So you can then come along, and then if we colour even just part of this one, but then what you can do, Joe, is come in with your fine liners and go in, start to create your own sort of shape. You know, maybe you want to add texture because it's a scarf. Or you can absolutely stamp on these as well if you oh, want awesome. to. Any of your stamps, your background stamps, you can start to do. So if you've got a bit of texture, maybe some of your stencils, you can completely start to layer them up. You get the idea as to how you can go colour-wise. I would stick them with our tacky glue. That would work an absolute treat. Once it's layered up, all that we're then going to do is we're going to pop that into the base here. And then what will happen is, let's show you the side that I've not part coloured. Uh, Denise has got a question for yes. you, Craig. Uh, will, uh, Denise says, won't that suck your pen dry, uh, the MDF? So you will have that element where it is going to uh, suck some of the colour from the, the pen. It's it's kind of deceiving. You would initially think it's going to take loads and loads of it. It won't. There's not that much here in the, the depth of it. So it's going to uh, take some of the ink and then it's going to, it's kind of like a sponge. Once it's had enough, it's had enough. So don't be overly too concerned. If you are white, jo white gesso it, do that. That's going to protect it. Then come on top with your colours as well, Joe. But it's a good question. Uh, Holly says, uh, I'm having such a rough morning. You guys are making it much better. Love you, Joe and Craig. Christine Mahoney says, wait, what? Did Craig just say don't soak the bottom or it will expand? Is that what he just said? Is that what you said? So this bit here, so this tiny little tab at the bottom ah, where my I fingernail see. is. If you coat that with gesso or, you know, even with some of your uh, water-based pens, what will happen, it will expand slightly and it's going to be a lot harder for you to get that into this base bit. Awesome. So just try and avoid colouring that bottom base. If you want to, then what to do is decorate it all, then pop it in and then just neaten up the base if you need to with colour. Fabulous, thanks for that Craig. Uh, Creative Touch says, uh, Joe and Craig, you really make my day. I love live TV. We love live TV too, don't we all? Oh, uh, let me just recap for you what you're gonna get in here. Now remember, they make three and you're getting them in three different sizes. So these are the largest ones that are out. You'll get a medium and you'll get a small. Just for context, this is what the smallest size look like. So you get the large one, the medium one, and the small one in each of the designs, which is awesome. Uh, and uh, of course, you're getting the gingerbread man in here. We only have his lady friend just here uh, but you will receive uh, the reindeer the snowman the gingerbread man the gingerbread lady uh, the penguin the nordic gnome and the lady nordic gnome as well a brilliant brilliant price for these considering it makes 21 which is just awesome you have loads of fun decorating these and putting them together as well and they make awesome keepsakes which is brilliant now talking of brilliant don't forget every single monday i keep thinking it is monday today craig uh, my head just can't fathom the fact that it is actually wednesday today uh, but every single Monday here on Crafters TV we launch a brand new get it got it good 
Uh, so this week's is, of course, Crafters Inspiration uh, 29. Uh, I cannot believe the price on this one. 5 or 11 97 is a great deal, considering what you receive in here is £50 worth of crafty goodies. Loads of projects. You've got stamps, stencils, dies in here for you too. Uh, beginner, intermediate, and advanced um, projects in there. And you've got 72 projects in total. It really is fantastic. Definitely get your hands uh, on there uh, and have a look uh, at that. It's a brilliant, brilliant deal on that too. Remember, we only hold it until Monday uh, when then we'll launch another brand new Get It, Got It. Good. Now, Craig is going to uh, take us through something that's exciting that's coming up a little bit later today. Okay, doc. so it's the time for the craft along. This is one that's going to be with uh, Debbie. And uh, as we've kind of alluded to already, she's uh, got incredible craft along uh, diary for you to uh, craft along with her, if you so wish. That is then going to be uh, 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time for you guys stateside. Before we go into this demo, because I've got some, I'll show you the boards of the set that we've got on the show, should you want to purchase what we've got but let's just do a little bit of a, a morning or afternoon to uh, someone else that has been on we have got uh, Terry is saying uh, good morning Craig Crew she's from Ohio well good morning to Joe Ohio Ohio good morning George <laughs> good morning oh, good Ooh, morning fine, uh, uh, in fine yes, voice yeah, today isn't I he no and our fellow American good morning afternoon Erin Morning. Oh, where are they? Oh, morning. We got, we got straight to the point there, wasn't it, as well? Brilliant. Uh, Sarah Brown from Melbourne. Well, hi to you too. Let's good day, be. Sarah. Good day, mate. Hi, Craig, Joe, the CTV crew and everyone. Hi, uh, June from Detano Beach. Uh, Abigail is saying, woohoo, it's my birthday today. So I'm settling down to play with my ultimate organiser set, which, uh, well, I've been uh, watching Wake Up Call, best birthday ever. Brilliant. Happy birthday to you. Happy and do you know birthday. what that means? Throughout today, get that, get your photos in. Get your photos in into uh, the shows later on so that you can uh, share with what you've been doing today. So there is the details for you and anyone else that wants to send some pictures in. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Now, uh, I know Joe will be doing a bit of a shout out later for you to send your pictures in as to what you've been making with Debbie in the craft along. However, certainly when it comes to creative cravings, I know they would love to see your pictures as well as to whatever you've been making today. Maybe you've already got this collection that is the Vintage Diary, so that would be good to see as well. So within the show today, we've got this set here. We've got the 12 by 12 paper pad, 12 by 12 cardstock. We've even got our wax seal. We've got our embossing folders. Both embossing folders are there. We've got stamps. We've got charms. We've got a uh, little chipboard wood. We've got ribbon. We're so, so much within that one. So I tell you what, let's have a look at the boards with these ones here. Incredible gorgeous colourways throughout this one here. Going to work absolutely beautifully if you happen to got letters from the heart the other day. would work so well in conjunction with each other. But look at these ones here with the vellums on here. Stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. You might want to use these with your uh, envelope box maker or scoreboards that we will show you just shortly. But what we've got as well is peel-offs. Now, we are giving you a range of stamps as well, but these peel-offs, I, I, I can't call them peel-offs. They're more like rub-ons, because um, you don't peel them off, you actually rub them on. Hence the name. Go figure, I know. So you could be able to use them as well, but maybe you do want to use your stamp sets. These are included as well. Now, I should have brought all my stamp sets together, but do you know what? Let's just go with. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm wondering... Erin, if we can maybe go to demo at the moment, because I seem to be have given the full, full vintage diary collection. Now, we don't have the full collection that's on the show, so I don't want to mislead anyone. So what we're going to do is, if I pop these, he's coming here to help as well. Thank you, Joe. Joe's going to help. I can then start to do a little bit of demo, because the last thing I would want you to do is think that you're getting something that's maybe out of stock. So... What we can do is let's go straight in. Now I'm going to be using the 3D embossing folder for this one. This is one that you guys absolutely adored. Now first and foremost, I do like to do it in colour so I can show it off. However, I'm going to do it into a white 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of ink in as well. That's when it's really going to show off. Actually, do you know what? Let's do, let's go for, let's change it. Let's do a little bit of letter pressing technique. It's going to work with the vintage diaries. So what we've got is we have got the deboss side and we've got the emboss side on this one here. So what I'm then going to do is on the deboss side, I'm going to go over. This says our water reactive and it's green topaz. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink all these bits up here and I'm going to make sure that I've got a good, good coverage over the top. What I can then do is I'm going to bring in a piece of watercolour card for this one and we're going to tip it into the folder and as it is our 3D embossing folder what I'm going to need is my base cutting plate I'm going to need my plastic and then my magnetic shim as well let's have a look and see as well just while that's going through uh, a lot of you are uh, or a few of you are actually saying happy birthday to uh, abigail so that's really nice to read as well diane is saying oh, joe your hair is looking good even though that you liked it longer i know you suited it long didn't you you did as well although i'm on the countdown to get mine cut that's for sure when and how long now, Craig? It will be uh, in about 12 days. Nice. Days. Not that I really am counting down the days, eh? Look at this one here. So what I'm going to do is if I show you and open it up, how phenomenal is that? Isn't that simply exquisite on that one here? Now what I'm also going to do, let's take a little bit of our aqua pens. Oh, and he's done it. Thank you so much. Isn't he a star? Oh, so lucky I get to spend the rest of the week. Rest of the week with Joe. We've actually got some chatting to do and some organisation to do, we don't have. we? We have. Because we're going to go to Friends Fest, aren't we, Craig? We are indeed. A whole festival about the TV show Friends. I mean, what could be better? Buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. So we need to get that organised. It's Manchester it's coming to, isn't it? It is, it yeah. Is. Yeah, perfect. So what we can do is I've taken Burgundy and I've taken navy. Now I'm going to colour in a little bit of this, uh, the feather in the burgundy and let's go into the ink pot with a little bit of the navy and uh, we, you can do blending, you can do shading but to start with I really want to just lay all this colour down and then we can start to pull, pull it out, do the blend, do the shading and that's just with the two colours here. Uh, Jean was saying, I didn't catch the time for the craft along today, Craig. What time can we find it? So the craft along, that's going to be 3pm here in the UK, 10am Eastern time or 7am Pacific time for you guys stateside that you'll be able to tune in. To say as well, and we do like to always point this out, if you maybe don't have the products just yet or maybe you aren't able to craft along live today, all of our shows, they do go onto our YouTube and our website. So you can go back and although we won't be live, you can craft along as well whenever you like. What I would always suggest, and I've started to do a lot of pages that I follow on YouTube and that's it. Uh, Give it, it's not, it's not so much a like, it's more of a subscribe. And then it just means that you're not going to miss any of the other shows that pop up as well. So if you do that, you'll be able to watch them. Lots of people loving this collection. Uh, Jill says the paper pad is amazing. It's her favourite part of this. Um, uh, Sandra saying how awesome the pocket watch is as well. Yeah. She really loves that element. It is such a gorgeous creation uh, at this collection, Craig. Um, but it's not going to be around forever, is it? Now, it's I know not. it was a 21 piece collection. It's now a 15 piece collection. So if you did miss it, this is like your chance to get it before it's what? A nine piece collection uh, when it comes back. Because of course, we don't reorder these, do we? Uh, the whole point is that when it's gone, it's gone, Craig. Exactly. That is the whole point of them. Exactly. If you just said there as well. So all Always, uh, if you've not got it, do that. Or if you're maybe wanting to get some of these other bits, then do get it now as well, because it's going to be good just to have within your stash. And it's a style. I, I was about to say, it's a style and a theme that never goes out of fashion in the fact that you'll always be able to use it. Now, I know I'm biased here, but I think all of the collections that Sarah puts together, you know, when she comes to, comes, uh, to the team with her ideas, her thoughts, her images, designs, all those sort of things that she thinks of, they're all going to work well in different occasions, different styles and, you know, different crafts. Specifically, this vintage uh, diaries, 
you can imagine them, hence a craft along, being a construction product or project like of diaries or bet boxes. Joe, what about the 8x8 or the 10x10, you know, the memory books? Oh, yes. And starting these to use these would, would look incredible. So yeah. that's, um, that's actually something as well. Do let us know that as well. Have you got maybe a specific way you're going to be using this collection? Maybe you are a card maker, but you've thought, you know something, this would be a good collection to maybe dip my toe into a little bit of mixed media or project making. Let us know on that one. That would be good. <laughs> Denise has got a rather leading question for you, Craig. Uh -oh. uh, she says, Joe, Craig calls Ben the main man when he's here. And when, when you're here, he calls you the main man as well. What's going on with that? Lol, Craig, who is really the main man? <laughs> they both are. <laughs> they both are. <laughs> you know, That's hilarious. Thanks for that, Denise. You, you've got to. You've got to have two. You've got to have two. That's Being brilliant. Being able to work with the two guys. It's, do you know what it is as well? It's so, it's so it's refreshing as well, you know, because you come in and it's two personalities who work together with me and Ben. It's very often that you get to be able to come into a workplace and, you know, you and the other people get on perfectly as well. It's great, isn't it? It's great. And I think that's obviously down to Ben and Joe's personality because it's like it with all of us. You know, you see Debbie and Ben together, hilarious and brilliant. And you see Debbie and Joe together, hilarious and brilliant. And we've all got our own likes. Me and Ben like certain things. Me and Joe like certain things. Me and Joe are going to arrange getting together out of work when Friends Fest starts. And it's just... We're I'm a very lucky. big happy family, aren't lucky. we? Lucky. You know, yeah, and you, 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 you probably hear people like, well, yeah, you know, people say that, don't they? <laughs> it's true. It is true. It's true. Really is true. Uh, Gilmore says, Craig, I love your colouring of this gorgeous embossed image. It looks fantastic. Ah, thank you. Just a little bit of it colouring with the, that was, in case anyone wanted to know, the burgundy or the navy. And then that was a bit of king gold round the edges here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take in a piece of that cardstock from the 12 by 12. And then we're going to do a little bit of layering up. And what I'm also going to do, now I'm not going to stamp and assemble this next bit because I know Debbie will. So I'll show you because it is part of the collection that's on today's show. And that's this really diddy little stamp and die set, Joe. So this one creates, let's me pop on at the back so that you can see the main image. You have got this real regal, you know, centerpiece frame. Now, even this little scroll part here, I know it looks small. However, see on this stamp set here, see all these tiny, tiny little stamps. These are words, they are readable. They fit into these bits here. So you're building up, you're even getting the dies to go with them so you don't have to fussy cut them. What I did do is I stamped it with plum jam quick dry and then I also uh, came along with the now which sentiment was on this one uh, wasn't it was the thank you thank you for being such a thoughtful so thoughtful thank you for being so thoughtful and that fits into this one here which gives us that one so what I'm doing is let's pop this one onto my card blank and you can go as an extravagant as you want or as simple as you want like I'm going to do here, popping it onto here. Even this joke, imagine that just as a card blank. Yes, maybe a sentiment and that's all that you need to do. So this is where the collection really has a lot of scope for card making, memory books, mixed media, uh, diaries, anything along those lines. But what I'm going to do is pop a pad. Now, I'm going to pop it into here because I just find that that just hugs it nicely. You can maybe come in with a wax seal would look lovely into the corner. It's entirely up to you how far that you want to go. You've got that ribbon as well. Now, the ribbon is more of a texture. So if you want to incorporate maybe a little bit of colour, then you can do with the ribbon. Pull it all together, but keep it simple or go all out, it's entirely up to yourself. I, I have to, I have to say I am completely and utterly jealous that Debbie gets to do this craft along. I do have one on Friday, I'm not telling you anything now because I want you to focus on Debbie's. However, I am uh, jealous of uh, Debbie's one today. 
Mm. So it's going to be a good one. It Joe. is going to be good fun. It's always fun to have to be here in the studio with us. You guys loving this collection as well in the comments. I was thinking of making a scrapbook slash memory book uh, showing pics and snippets of our journey up to our 28th wedding anniversary. What a lovely way to use this. Uh, a matronista on YouTube says, I make mini albums and cards, but want to get into making junk journals. This collection is the perfect one for that. Junk journals tend to be a little bit more mixed media than mm -hmm. regular journals. Love that. Yeah. Love that you're going to use it like that. And Laura Jane says, Hi, Craig, Joe, and all my crafty friends. I almost missed all the fun. Too busy shopping. I was buying that Craft Along collection. Absolutely. The Craft Along coming up later. If you haven't yet ordered it, though, don't worry, uh, because we will have some of the products available for you, and then you can just go back and watch it whenever you like. It's at 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. on the East Coast, 7 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, so do make sure you join us for that. Do you fancy another craft fault item? I think you do. Yes, let's move on. Let's have a little look at the best of British. Now, I adore this collection. It has been so, so busy. Uh, and you've got a really awesome assortment of bits in here. You're actually getting the paper pad for three, which for free, which is incredible. What you're going to get is you're going to get the uh, stamps and dies in here, uh, which is your, um, which is your uh, best of British city scenes. Oh, awesome. And you're going to get uh, the rose garden in here as well. So you've got your city scenes in your rose garden. I was having, I was having a moment there. I couldn't see it. Uh, you're also, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it is Monday. And it's actually Wednesday. It's my Monday. You're also going to get two embossing folds. You're going to get the beach huts and the picket fence in here. We're giving you that 12 by 12, 12 paper pad, totally free of charge. We're even going to throw a tape pin in there for you too. And you will be making really gorgeous, uh, beautiful designs uh, such as this. It's very regal. It's very British is going to make fantastic scrapbooks for you as well, uh, as well as amazing card uh, projects. There's loads you can do with it. Brilliant savings for you as well. Uh, 3516 or 4230 uh, as a platinum member, of course, you're all going to get some sort of uh, club inspired discount, which is absolutely fantastic. This um, has been very popular, this collection, hasn't it, Craig? It has. It really has. And it's one of those that is popular here in the UK. Of course, it's all about best of British. And it's funny, here in the UK, we love America. And for you guys in America, you love that thought of afternoon tea, best of British, all the, you know, the, the beaches, all those sorts of uh, looks and feels. So I know that this is why it's one that you specifically love. If anything, I'm going to go out there and I think, I think you guys maybe just beat us to the post here in the UK and you love it that little bit more because you've always come back in the past and stocked up on extra paper pads and that. So um yeah it is a really good one a wide scope of different occasions you can use it for and i'm going to show you one just in a moment but what i'm going to do is let's just have another look uh to uh see what you guys are saying a couple just going back to the uh, character um mdf as we call them the art boards you, you can uh, use different things on them you can pretty much use whichever the whichever things that you want when it comes to the color medium what would say is if you don't want it to soak in the colour, use your um, your Pebio or any. Uh, now, now it's gone out my mind. Gesso. Gesso. That's it. Gesso. That's giving it a base, and then that's going to let any colour that you put sit on top of that base, so it's not going to soak in. Um, so much love. Actually, going back to this one for the paper pad as well. A lot of you're loving that wax stamp seal from the Vintage Diaries. They seem to be getting more and more popular, more and more popular when it comes to um, the wax seals. One or two more we've got. This says, oh, just come in right now and it's going back to the characters again. Samantha's saying, can water-based pens and sparkle pots be used on the MDF? Absolutely. Same scenario, it will soak it up. It's not a problem. But if you want to have the colour sitting on top, then use your gesso but go for it, have a bit of fun. And what you can always do, Joe, is try it on the back of the MDF because you're not going to see it. Give it a little bit of a test star. If you like the colour, great. If not, use your gesso. Awesome. Okay, doc, so let's have a look. Well, I'll show you the boards quickly and then I'll show you a few finished samples with these ones here. Now, this is, um, uh, potentially it's going to be one of your favourites, I think, because we've got the London Eye, we've got the his, uh, historic uh, scenes that you can see of Big Ben and the Gherkin and... Um, Do you want a top fact, Craig? Yeah. The Gherkin isn't actually called the Gherkin. Uh, oh. Its actual real name is Eleven St Mary Axe. There you go. Mm. Uh, do you want to point to the Gherkin? Do I want to point to the Gherkin? Here. That sort of, like, it's a, what shape is it? A Gherkin. 
Well, gherkins aren't that shape, though. No, they're, yeah. Because if it was a gherkin, it'd be sort of like twisted off to one side a little bit, wouldn't it be sort of like round? And it, it might be like bent forward well. a little bit, and it's definitely not. Mm. You've got the cheese, is the cheese grater on there as well? I've never heard yeah. of that one before. I think cheese it's the grater. one to the right of the gherkin, the cheese grater. When you see it up close, it looks like, like an angled cheese grater. It's got the sky, the city sky garden in the top of it. Oh, I've been there, mm. me and mum have been there. It's great, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I didn't know that was cheap, called the cheese grater. Um, do, you want to, do you want to hear something funny as well? Yeah. Big bit, this is funny, now, we're not getting into anything here. There may have been a family that came here in the UK recently, when they shouldn't have, but they came here specifically to see Big Ben, and Big Ben's completely covered up now it for is. restoration. all so scaffolded up, I'm afraid. Them. So, yeah, so we've got the stamps, we've got the dies to go with them as well. We've got all of, um, even down here, we've got that scene. Now, these are good if you want to do backdrop shadows if you want, but this is the sort of thing that you can be doing here, so I'm going to go that way for you. How cute is that? So good. Little postcards if you want to use them, that would be good. But then what you can then do is you can go to the other side of it and do your gardens here. So this one being the rose garden, lots of different picket fences. You've got all of your uh, little Wellington boots, even little flowers, really nice springtime. So not necessarily best of British theme, but you can certainly incorporate it. And then I've got one of the, uh, oh here we go, I've got the boards here. We've got the picket fence. This is now also about layering up. If you've got, or I'm saying use, if you've got it, you're getting it within the set, the rose garden here. Start to do all your layering up. These, and so far, all of those ones that I've showed you, pretty much all of it, Joe, is going to go through your Gemini Mini awesome. or your Gemini Go as well. So you can absolutely feel comfortable and confident in knowing that's going to go through them. This, I just love that one as well. Do you know how expensive they are? Beach huts. <gasps> yeah. In, right, like a beach hut basically is at the seaside, you have these little houses that are on the, on the beach, uh, but they have no power or electricity, so you can't live in them. I don't even think you're allowed to cook in them. I think you can like cook outside of them. But some of them go for like, in North Norfolk, Craig, I know they go for six figures, like £100,000 people buy them for. So what's that, like £125,000, $130,000? Uh, yeah, you just buy them. It's like little wooden huts on the beach. I don't know, there are. And to get then, changed in, have a little picnic yeah, in there. Yeah, you can do. Yeah, that kind of thing. You can do. And, um, well, uh, aka the Crafty Crafter has just said, and I did know this one, I think you knew this one, Ben. Um, Put, uh, well, Elizabeth Tower, not Big Ben. Big Ben is the bell, not the clock tower. There you go. There you go. Mm. Do you not know that, Erin? Yeah. Yep. You've learnt a lot. It's not, Big Ben is not bonging at the moment, is it? No. Well, that's no. what I mean. You, you can't see Big Ben at all because it's completely covered completely in covered. scaffolding because they're giving it a wee bit of uh, renovation at the moment. Same with uh, Parliament. We won't go there. Let's have a look at some of the things that you can be doing on these ones here. All about, and now I know I say this a lot, and certainly today in this show, Ben, but all, Ben, Big Ben. <laughs> oh, Big Ben Big on ben, my mind now. You did actually call me day. Ben earlier as well, but I don't think you realised. Oh, did I? <laughs> I think so, yeah. I don't mind. He's a handsome chap, isn't he? Oh, gosh. At least this time I can blame it on Big Ben, can't I? We're talking about Big Ben. Now, we've got the crown here. Now, you know, you may have been uh, into that popular on, uh, uh, it was on Netflix, wasn't it? Was it The Crown or that? I didn't pick up on a moment ago, but you do get that paper pad as well. Actually, does that work out being free? Yeah. It's for free. It works out for free. Now, what about this? Using the embossing folder, going to the other extreme. You wouldn't necessarily think that's come from that collection. Also going to another extreme here as well. Once again, you wouldn't necessarily think best of British. Look at this one. Talk about, you know, ooh la la. Look how bright that one Love is it. there. Love that one. I could see Joe wearing all these colours here. Absolutely. But what about concepts as well? So this one, Bean Rose Garden. We've then got this, this one I'd done. I want to say I'd done this on a Creative Cravens in the past. Let's show you one more. Simply with a little picket fence. And with the stamps, you don't need to use the dies if you don't want to. If you've got your drawn gum or masking sheets, that would work well. Erin, do I have time to stamp and cut one of them out? Righty -o. So I tell you what, I've got a little bit of time. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that plan, Erin. Yep, we'll go with that plan. 
what we're going to do is let's go in with the Union Jack. We're going to go in with the Union Jack here. We're going to go in with the London bus. I even remember our buses, Joe, when the kind of like the getting hop on, on and off, off the off. bus. Yeah. Was yeah. it that? Do you remember conductors? I remember conductors, mm. yeah. With a big machine. That's it, yep. yeah. And then that was me. This is a bit like a big ticket machine. They sort of wind it and make a really big loud noise when you're a kid. And then you, I, I used to ask the conductor not to tear off each ticket because if there was like maybe me, my mum, my brother, whatever, I wanted like the long ticket. Right. One, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like being at the fun, the fun fair or the fairs. You know when you win the tickets out the machine. Yeah. And you collect the tokens mm. and then. Did you know that they modernised the Route Master and they they. Um... They, um, they built newer versions of them. Do you remember them, Craig? And they had like a big glass panel down the back of them. But because of health and safety, you weren't allowed to hop on and hop off anymore. Is that why? Yeah. Can't hop on or off yet. I didn't realise that was why, actually. Mm. Uh, Christine rightly says, Big Ben will only ring on special occasions uh, whilst it's being refitted. Yeah, so it, it bonged at New Year. I know that much. So just special occasions. Just special occasions, yeah. Yeah, big... Ah, uh, yeah. I know you, you don't always think of these sorts of things, do you? It's interesting to know. I'm always blown away how long it takes to restore things mm -hmm. because the uh, town hall was very, very impressive town hall uh, with the big bell tower in Manchester, um, which was opened by Prince Albert, Queen Victoria's husband. So it's like Victorian times. They're restoring that at the moment. Six years, Craig, six years six to restore years. it. Yeah. Wow. I am um, uh, talking about restore. I know obviously we're talking about Britain here, but I remember in, in New York when they were restoring Madison Square Garden, mm -hmm. that took quite a while. Yeah, it took it does. really a real while for it to be well, it's restored. Fabulous now though, isn't it? Oh, totally fabulous. Oh, I yeah. love that they got that like that strip along the ceiling where you can sit where it's like hanging out the top of the uh, stadium. It's yeah. quite amazing if you've ever been. It's incredible. To be honest, I would have loved to have gone before it was um, modernised because I loved how, in, uh, as many that I'll have seen, maybe Madison Square Garden either been there or, of course, watched anything on it beforehand. What they used to do is, w we won't talk about wrestling, so let's talk about boxing. <laughs> okay. Uh, instead of having the big entrance towards the, like, the left or the right-hand yeah. side of the arena, you had little entrances across from each other. Right. So it was tiny little uh, entrance parts as well. Awesome. It was just so, yeah, it was... It was a different style of an arena. So uh, Nona rightly gone. points out, Craig, that the Union Jack, it is not called the Union Jack. It is actually called the Union Flag and should only be referred to as the Union Jack when it's on a boat. I did there not you go. know that. Mm. I did not know that. So it's on a boat, Union Jack, just on a pole or just out or something like that, then uh, Union Flag. Yeah. You learn something every day. I did not know that, Nona. You um, do, don't you? Susan remembers the hop-on, hop-off buses with a conductor when she lived in Glasgow. She said they were great. They were very efficient, the hop-on, hop-off buses. They were. Yeah, they're really, really But not rare. very accessible as well, I think. And maybe one another one of the reasons that we don't see them anymore. Yeah, although, and I don't think we've got them in Glasgow yet, but Edinburgh, over the last couple of years, we've got um, uh, back up and running with trams, modern trams. So you can hop on mm. and off them. We've got trams in Manchester. Have you? Yeah, they're fantastic. Bit slow in the city centre though, but once you get out of town, they go, so like in the city centre, they're on roads that cars can go along as well. But then when they get out of town a little bit, then they run on their own like railway system and they're yeah. super fast. Yeah, you whiz about all over town on them. Love them. So when, uh, when I come to yours, um, we're not just going to do Friends Fest, are you? No. You're going to take me a... I'll give you a little tour. Oh, that would be great. Do you know my favourite thing to do at the moment? We have this free walking tour that lasts four hours and they take you all over the city and tell you all about all the history and the culture. Really? Fabulous. Love oh, it. That yeah. so good. We'll give that a go. Um, Debbie Mahan says, I am loving learning all of this UK trivia from Joe and Craig. You're most welcome. <laughs> I didn't realise it's going to be a history lesson no, today. No, I didn't either. Or a popular culture lesson. Uh, Christine Jamal says, I used to live near the bus garage and when I was Little to jump onto the bus deck and pick up the oddments of the clippy rolls and pretended to be a bus conductor. I love that. That is so good. Uh, old Christine Koppenrath, who often meshes us in from the Netherlands, she was a clippy before um, she moved away. I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, clippy, uh, clippy, Christine. <laughs> uh, a clippy is a colloquialism for a bus conductor, I think. I could be wrong. Yeah. I'm sure that is, isn't it? I think it is indeed. Just Quite a nice out. job being a bus conductor. You get to chat to everyone, you get to go around, see all the sights. I bet it's nice. It's nice, yeah. 
unless you got some of these uh, naughty teenagers like you get nowadays. Oh. Like, I wouldn't want to be a teacher nowadays. Maybe they'd give them a clippy around the ear. Clippy around the ear. Hey, hey, good one. I like that one, Ben. Pe oh my God. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, Joe, all that I've done is uh, we were chatting away there. I was stamping these ones out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just make them a tiny, tiny little bit smaller so we can pop these ones through. And what we can do is layer them up. The dies as well, if you use them on their own, onto black card or maybe brown card, these are, and I know I picked upon this at the start, but these are going to be good for doing your drop shadows or accent shadows. Or if you do the skyline of uh, Big Ben, the Gurk and London Eye, that would be good as a focal shaker element. Pop some acetate behind. Because I would say, let's have a look. I think if I was to remove this one out, I think oh, you would yeah. pretty much be able to tell that is London, wouldn't you? I think so. Yeah. So use that, obviously it would be on a neater piece of cardstock, but use that as that shaker or stencil. It it's such an iconic skyline, isn't it, the London it skyline? Is. I mean, um, a lot of skylines from different cities are recognisable. Sydney being one that comes yep. to mind, got a very recognisable skyline. Paris, obviously, because of the Tour Eiffel, as they call it there, the Eiffel Tower. Um, but yeah, the UK one is. Manchester doesn't have much of a skyline. Does, does, uh, does Glasgow have much of a skyline? Uh, Glasgow does, specifically Edinburgh. Edinburgh does, yes, of course, the castle, castle yeah. I, would, I would say... Uh, with Glasgow, it's more kind of like the historic high, the, the high street. You know, you've got what that is good the uh, statue that's always got a traffic cone oh, on it? Oh, that's hilarious! This is so funny. I can I can never remember. The is it statues. St George's? St George's. Yeah, yeah, because it's just off St George's Square. Uh, yeah, it's a statue on on his horse, and I, I can't remember how much, but it costs so much money for either the council or the police to come along and constantly climb ladders to take. Mm. Uh, so it's quite high, isn't it's it? It's really about high. 40, it's about mm, 15 metres up, this statue, and somehow people manage to get traffic cones and throw them and get them to land on St George's head. So literally now, I think the council have just stopped taking them off. Mm -hmm. So it's constantly got a traffic cone. <laughs> over the head of this statue because they've just given up taking them down. Yeah. It, that is the most Glasgow thing you'll ever hear as well. It, makes all, it all makes sense when you go to Glasgow. It is. Nine times out of ten, actually, Joe, they don't throw them. What do they, they do not? Is whoever does that comes in like, the middle of the night. So and like, climbs up. Them. And it's different people with ladders and climbs Wowzers. up and does something. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> uh, it, is, it is funny. If you get a chance after the show, go on and have a Google of them just so that you can uh, see exactly what we mean. Um, but just finish off, just a, a couple of these again, just to show you, uh, doing your stamping and die cutting, whether you want to make them really, really simple, maybe you want to incorporate them with the memory books, maybe you have been on holidays or little trips, really as a good co uh, collection to uh, pop into your basket, if maybe that you've not tried it before, or maybe you've loved it so much you want to get it as a gift, it's worthwhile having, uh, having a look at the paper pad that you're getting for free, it's a phenomenal one as well. It really is awesome. It's a fantastic deal. Uh, Alison's Joe. We, Alison says, Joe, will you take me on that walking tour when I can finally visit Manchester? Why not? I reckon I've been on it enough times now. I'll be able to do it myself soon, uh, Craig. Right, let's move on and just uh, recap exactly what you're getting included within this collection. So in here, you're getting the two stamp and die sets. And I know these are in quite small packaging, but you saw those boards. There's absolutely loads in there for you. You've got the Rose Garden and the City Scenes. You're also then going to get the two embossing folders. Perfect for the mini. You've got your big each hut and your picket fence. Then you've got the 48 sheets of the paper pad, which is included for free. And we're gonna pop an extra strong tape pen in there for you too. Platinum members are looking at just over 35 pounds, just over $40, which is fantastic value for money, I think. Let's see what people are up to in the comments, chatting away. Lorna Jane says, um, too many days with Ben, see? Uh, ben will find this hilarious, Craig. Uh, Susan says, I love Edinburgh Castle. The view is amazing. It is amazing if you ever get a chance to go. Uh, and Christine is really, having a good old chuckle about that traffic cone. It is very, very funny, Christine. If you ever do go, uh, make sure you go and check it out. Uh, loads coming up today, uh, as we said here on Crafters TV. Uh, don't forget as well, if you are watching us on YouTube, 
make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're never going to miss out on what is coming your way over the course of the day uh, so you never need to miss any of those fantastic shows any questions that you've got about anything just get in touch with me it's really super simple to do that crafters tv over on facebook or of course crafters companion uh, pop yourself into the comments there and one of our social media superstars who is rachel uh, today will ping those comments across to me but craig's now got a little stink peek at something that's coming up a bit later today Absolutely, I do indeed. So, going to have a look at these ones. So, these are all about your Spectrum Noirs. Coming up in Creative Craven, 7 p.m. here in the UK for you guys stateside, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. This is all about our Spectrum Noir Discovery Kit. Now, you're not having to choose you can go for this full bundle here. £50 here in the UK, $70 for you guys stateside. Look at that saving right towards the bottom. You've got that saving straight away. Whoever is uh, joining and popping them into the basket will get them at that price. But if you are in Club Inspire, then you will get them a little bit less depending on the tier that you are in. Let's have a look and see in a little bit more detail. The This one here, the watercolour. Now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to talk too much at the moment because we're going to come back and have a look at this one uh, just shortly these are now taking all maybe different color medium terms and techniques and starting to apply them in an easy way so this one being watercolor in so you can maybe tell it's about your uh, your aqua pens now i don't know about you joe but very rarely do i see a really nice uh, comprehensive calligraphy set mm. There is ones out there in the market, but they're huge big boxes, really. Do you know something? And I, and I know this for a fact, I'm not going to say the price, but I know for a fact you can get a big callig calligraphy set for more than what we are, certainly yep. pound-wise, £50 here in the UK. So it's a nice uh, little one with the main elements that you need. Debbie's going to be demonstrating this one on Creative Cravens uh, later today. But then maybe you like your concept design. Do you know who on the team I think would be absolutely amazing at this? And that's Fiona. Yeah. You know how much Fiona adores her colouring, how incredible she is with her colouring. She would be awesome with that. I don't know if Fiona's maybe touched upon these in the past. I am going to try and find out for you, but I think she would be good with that one there. Then what we've got is our blended mandala. So this is focusing on more of your tri-blends. However, what we've got on the side here, you get the art liners here. So if I bring them just briefly at the side, this is where you get your tri-blend. Oh, Craig, go the right way. There we go. You've got your tri-blends, but you've also got your art liners. You get your cardstock as well and a little bit of a guide, which I will talk you through in a moment. Then we've got creative colours. Now, we did do recently, like, great big uh, discovery kits. Now, on the creative colouring style, Debbie Robinson, she done one and actually posted it onto her Facebook a couple of weeks ago. So this is a nice, more of a, a subtle, refined little collection that you can follow away. Then what you've got is we have got illustration that you've got here. So this one here about uh, your illustration pens that you've got here, the different effects. Last but not least on this one, you've got your manga and your comic. And every one that I've just shown you here, it is across all, I want to say it's on our Facebook, is it our Facebook page? On our YouTube, sorry, correct me. On uh, YouTube, you have got a uh, search by Discovery Kit on YouTube. What you're going to be able to do is you're going to see a closer look at each one that I've just showed you here. The ideas of them, you know, the concept of them, how you can start to do the blending, the shading and the technique wise. But what we can do is let's bring in the watercolour in one, Joe. And what we can do is show you, this is what you're getting. So you're getting your aqua pens within this one here. I'm going to read it off the back. So I don't think you could buy it. the aqua pens on their own for the no. cost of the actual discovery kit, Craig, which means, it means the value is amazing. It really, really is. And the fact you're getting the Kingfisher, the Sunshine, the Scarlet, um, Parisian Blue and Alpine Green. But then what you're getting is your 0.3 art liner as well. What you also get is you get a number of watercolour card pre-printed images so it's ready for you to colour. You also get blank ones as well. 
so that you can do your own stamping if you want. But this is where it comes into its own. Now, I highly recommend you do go onto YouTube and have a look back on them. But what you've got within each set, it's all about a different artist. Now, on this one here, it's uh, Bonita. Now, what she does, it tells you a little bit about her, meeting that artist, because she's award-winning. Then she goes on to explain about knowing your tools. So with this one being, it's the aqua pens and the art liners. Whatever tool, colour medium that the box focuses on, you get your Know Your Tool instruction sheet with it. Then what we can do is, if I turn it around, what Benita does, she gives you tips and techniques about bringing colours back and forth, mixing the colours together, little distressing techniques that you can do. And then if you want to go beyond what comes in the discovery kit, lots of things that you can do as well. It's a nice set if you're wanting to gift to someone. Now, I'm going to go out there and join. I'm going to say I'm stingy. Are and you? I wouldn't give this full Discovery collection as one gift. I would dish them out as mm. individual gifts. I'm going to have a look on the screen in a moment. What you're able to do then, if you do do it that way, you're going to get seven individual gifts. You know, seven individual crafters. If you do that as a secret Santa, if you've got a craft club, I, am, I really do believe it, certainly by Christmas, even by the middle of the year, we'll be back doing craft clubs and fingers crossed. So these are really nice little secret Santa gifts as well. The $10 per collection is a I great know. deal, Craig. Really such good. A, such a good deal within these ones here. What I will say as well, when it comes to the colours, these are going to match maybe the colours you've got in your main set. So aqua pens, if you have our main aqua pen set, you will... Uh, duplicate you know you will duplicate them so this is why it's good for either gifts but you know what if you do have the full set it's nice to still have these on a separate one so you don't have to keep taking them out your full set it's all confined in this little box in the tray as well and it's all held together so what I'm going to do briefly is let's bring in all you'll need is some water and a paintbrush which I've got here or you can use uh, a water brush or what you can even do is if you have dabbled in colouring, start to bring in your clear sparkle overlay. That would work well as well. And following the instructions or going over the video that is on YouTube, Benita will then step you through and help you with hints and tips, which it's all about. But what we can do is I'm doing it onto my glass mat. If you have something like our craft mat that we can see here, that would work well too. But it's all about picking up colours, Joe, picking them up and starting to do watercolouring with them. Beautiful. And I, per for me personally, I always say, if you're starting out colouring, watercolouring for me is the easiest one to start with because I feel that you can start to do a lot more blending and shading a lot easier and quicker. And what it also does is it gives you more of that impact pride and you look and you think, gosh, i done that. So proud that I was able to achieve that really simply. And of course, uh, there is uh, loads of Colour Me Happy. I just celebrated the Colour Me Happy first anniversary, didn't we, Craig? Which is awesome. That's right, yeah. Uh, but we do actually have a Colour Me Happy with well, two of them, actually, featuring uh, Benita, who put these collections together for us. So if you can complete the uh, discovery kit, if you will, definitely then go back and check out those two Colour Me Happies uh, with Benita. One with myself and Leanne, the other one uh, with Sarah and Becky. Uh, because that's another four hours of awesome watercolouring uh, inspiration education that you've got for free, as all of our shows are uh, to watch back over on our website anytime. Exactly, exactly. And then the thing is, you can then also have a look at Colour Me Happy shows that aren't specifically focused on the discovery kits. However, you can take lots of hints and tips from the shows and start to incorporate them into your discovery kit colouring and techniques. So there's no right or wrong way, Joe. Really nice as a beginner, but there's nothing stopping you if you are more advanced and you want to add it to your craft and stash, and then you can then start to um, do any of your different technique-wise. If you are someone that's at college or at high school, or you know your, your son, daughter, granddaughter, grandson, and they're doing art, and you're doing all of those higher uh, educations, these would be a really nice little uh, gift yeah, fantastic for, for them to work upon. But here we go. 
Yes, yeah, seven pounds fourteen in the UK. Awesome. I mean, you can't go and buy a you know you, you go and buy a large iced coffee from the you know the chain store is not far off that price, and you can get this awesome gift for that. I think it's brilliant, brilliant. They were always great value for money when they were around about the twelve ninety nine mark, yeah, uh, eleven ninety nine. But now they are fantastic value. They really, really. I wouldn't are. be surprised to see people uh, multi ordering on these and putting them away. I, I would, I would, I, I, um, or when I say I would, what I mean is, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if people are doing that as well. Really is a good thing to do. But very briefly on this one, Joe, bringing in a couple of colours together, as I explained with that instruction sheet, or if you do go on to YouTube, Benita, for this one anyway, this one specifically being all about the watercolour in, what you're able to do is follow her lead really, really soak in her knowledge. You know, she is award winning. You know, so while you have that opportunity of having her expertise, then go for it. Because what she does as well is she then starts to talk you through how you can start to blend colors together. So if we do the, what was that? The sunflower and the Parisian blue, and then always just going in with some water, and then you can start to create your own additional tones. So if you want to go more depths, maybe more pastels, maybe you want to go with your yellows to your greens or your yellows to your uh, reds, you've got that option. So pulling in lots of different shades of colours, so taking a little bit of that excess colour, I want a little bit more of um, a depth to the centre parts here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in, Joe, with the yellow and blend them out. Blend them out. So here we go, there we are. So what we're doing is Everyone's following. very quiet today uh, in the comments, Quake. I think they are enthralled, uh, obviously, by your wizard-like demonstrations. <laughs> That's what it is. It's having you back as well. It's uh, us uh, bouncing off of each other. And it's one of those, you know, we love your comments. You know, we want your comments, but also makes us feel good if it does go quiet, because it yeah. makes us like, you know, you, you really are enjoying the show. And saying that, please do comment, because we love interacting with you and uh, reading them. So if you do, uh, so whether, you know, I know I've not got longer on this show, there is Craft Along. Craft Along, you go really quiet on as well, but certainly Creative Cravings, that is your time to get comment and get interactive, get your photos in as well. So you can see that either on YouTube or, of course, on Facebook. Get the comments in and the team are going to be guiding them through to joe as well so uh gene ann says love you guys you make my day Aww. you make our day gene ann you, the, really you do you absolutely do so nice to hear and so nice to read so what i'm doing joe here is i'm now going to go in with a little bit of red and then i'm just going to finish finish on that one there let's blend them out here a little bit. Now, within a few minutes, that's just a smidge as to what you can start to do. You can then start to do more. You know, even there, you know, I quite like the depth that I've managed to get, just bringing in a little bit of that red together when it comes to, uh, I want, is that, hum, is that Hummingbird? Hummingbird, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So you can see how you've got that effect there. This is the Discovery Kit. It is the complete collection. Also think of it as a starter guide as well when it comes to all your individual colour and mediums that you've got here. You know, just a few I mentioned, you've got uh, manga and comic, you've got modern uh, calligraphy. Modern calligraphy, in actual fact, is one that Debbie is going to be uh, having a look at later on on Creative Cravings. She's also going to have a look at the watercolour as well. Spend a bit more time than what I've got as well. If you do want to go with that one, £50 here in the UK, $70 for you guys stateside. And as I always like to point out, every now and again as well, for you guys uh, across in Europe, just go to either crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. But to see them in full force with Debbie herself and Joe, that's then going to be 7pm here in the UK, 2pm Eastern Time or 11am Pacific Time. Let's have a look and see. I'm going to get tidied up just briefly. So I'm going to go back to Joe because I know he's got a couple of other comments because I can see them coming through as well and then we'll come back to me with uh, something else. Awesome. Uh, Charlotte says, good morning all listening. Not able to watch much. I'm at work. Don't tell anyone. Uh, Alison says, we are in a colouring coma. Terry says, it feels like watching Bob Ross when you watercolour Craig. 
What a compliment that is. Oh, what an absolute compliment that is. Really is. Uh, Lynn says, sorry if I'm being quiet. I'm doing an online training course at the same time about speech and language. Talk about multitasking. Absolutely, Lynn. Let's have a little look at the fantastic Peacock collection uh, that is coming up for you. I do need to let you know you're going to have to be quick for this one, though, because over 80% of it has gone. You are getting a really awesome uh, collection of bits in here. So the uh, Flourish and Frame, for instance, this one here, this is worth 19 99 on its own so it's great that you've got that included you're actually getting uh, a metal die for free and also uh, some stamps and an embossing folder which is awesome so in here you've got that flourishing frame you've got the plumage panel embossing folder uh, which is a really lovely six by six size uh, along with the conventional five by seven regal peacock you're also getting in here some sentiments too so you've got words of inspiration those gorgeous corners as well which is the feathered corner along with the pretty plumage and also that proud peacock which I think is awesome and the kind of things that you're going to be able to make with these are absolutely divine i love this one here also love this one using uh, the embossing folder along with that um along with some inks on there and some of the sentiments as well it really is fantastic if you can hear me just sniffling away today i do apologize it's the hay fever craig it's getting me today i don't know what it is because apparently hay fever i only get it at a certain point of the year but apparently this is a thing apparently you have like different pollen as you go through the summer and this one we've got at the moment not my friend uh right if you do want to get hold of that platinum members save 30 pounds or 30 dollars which is awesome now a off the scale deal for you uh saving over 55 percent on this 48 pounds or 56 dollars as a club inspired platinum member it should be when um, bought at full price 137 pounds or 155 dollars it's incredible and it's all about our double-sided dies and the amount of different gorgeous things that you can make with these in just one pass is incredible i love them i know you guys love them that's not the right way around there we go uh, i know you guys love them too in the collection what you're, you're actually going to receive is you're going to get the cherry blossom you're also getting the lily the peony there's the rose the tulip and the water lily as well. I remember launching this collection and it was so incredibly busy. So I, I'm, I'm quite astounded really we've managed to get these on with such a deep disca uh, discount on there as well. Matronista uh, says, I'm supposed to get the por portable craft room today. I'm so excited. Maybe I'll finally get some things in my craft room sorted. Cathy uh, says, I missed it there. Which collection was the hummingbird in? It was in the... Um, -la 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 -la. It was in the watercolour one, wasn't it? Yeah, That's the noise that happens in my brain when I can't think of something, by the way. -la 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 -la. That's what happens in there. Uh, so yeah, there's a little insight for you. Uh, don't miss out on this awesome double-sided uh, die collection. I think if you've thought about double-sided dies before and maybe you feel they've been out of your price range, or maybe you haven't tried them yet, I think this really makes them accessible for everyone. No better time really, Craig, is there than with this deal to give double-sided dies a go for the first time. No, you're absolutely spot on. All that you need is your Gemini plates, which you'll already have, and you will need your double-sided plates. Check them out on the website. Like everything that I uh, pretty much touch on the show, if we don't refer to it, always check out our website, have a look in the search engine, and you'll be able to pick up any items. Of course, stock dependent, but that is the place to go to. What I can do is let's show you a couple of ideas that you can see on this one here. And I'm going to run two of them through, Joe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run one of them through in a real bright colour tone wise. And it'll show you what it looks like when it's bright. And then I'm going to run another one through where it's in darker cardstock. Now we try not to do darker cardstock a lot. However, when it comes to these, darker card really makes them stand out, really makes them pop. So therefore, if I do two, it gives you a couple of different looks. Look at this one here. Even scraps of card stocks that you can see on the bottom. But that could actually be scraps of ribbon. Um, myself and Erin, we were actually talking about it before the show, about different things it could start to do with, uh, with ribbons. So uh, going forward in time, I'm going to start to either videos or Facebook lives from home using our products, but showing you what you can do with our ribbons 
as well. Uh, funny enough, talking about ribbon, you may have seen ribbons being used within these ones. We've got such a great selection of ribbons across on our website. Uh, so do, if you are needing to stock up on any ribbons, great for maybe if you're doing, maybe like your memory books or your, uh, your diaries, have a look at them on the website, because keep in mind as well, going forward, and I'll keep you posted, but we will be doing more live, certainly from my house, where we'll be incorporating techniques with things like ribbons and that. So keep that in mind. Check them out on the website. And, you know, while you're across there, maybe treat yourself to a few things. Because trust me, there's a lot of things that you can do with ribbon that you don't always necessarily think of. So on that one, what we can do is let's go in. We'll do the lily window for this one, Joe. And this one I will do in our bright card stocks so that you can see what it looks like. So we need our two cutting plates and I'm going to use uh, our first double-sided die plate and then I'm going to go in with uh, our die and these are double-sided and let me just naughty 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 we might not have time to do two of them let's have a look and see or I might change the, the other one that I was going to do Let's pick out these ones here. Is it always good practice to take these bits out when you use it, Craig? I, I do, this for sim simply because when you, once you've used it and you think, oh, I'll do it later on, comes to later on and you go to use it and you think, gosh, I wish I'd actually taken them out. So just it's a get, bit like the pots after tea, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Mm. You do get little release holes. Whatever you do, it's double-sided, so don't do what some of us do and uh, tap them against the side. Just I'll see George just in a minute so you can see. Don't tap them on the side. They're double-sided. You'll damage these ones. So just spend that little bit of time and pop them all out. So what I can do is this happens to be our texture cardstock that we've got. Now, this side here has a lot of open spaces, which means it's going to be the back image. This side here is more of your outline. So that is then going to be kind of like your outline parts. So what I'm going to do is let's do the back image in this yellowy color. We're going to do the top image in this lilac. We're then going to bring in our top double-sided plate and then our top Gemini plate. We're going to run that one through. And by this combination, what it does as well is it then uh, does the die cutting on both sides. Question we always get asked, and I'm sure it's going to come through at one point, can these be used with the Gemini MIDI? Absolutely they can. What you would do with your Gemini MIDI is don't have the plastic shim here but instead of using your two Gemini plates do what I've done here your two double-sided plates and use your purple shim from your Gemini MIDI run it through that way die cuts a treat awesome so there's a little uh, wee bit of a tip for you so all that I'm doing now Joe it's like any other dies that we've got I'm going to start just taking all these bits out and this is like one of those videos you know where it's so therapeutic mm. where all these bits come out you didn't happen to see that video I put on my Insta last night, did you? No, I didn't. What was did it? Did you not? Uh, it was one of those therapeutic videos. Right. And someone had taken a biscuit. It's like a digestive biscuit. Mm -hmm. And you know on uh, the big um, like uh, wood sander machines yeah. that you get, the slowly Just sand it away. sanded the biscuit. And you know when you get Ooh. that sense of like, oh, that yeah. looks and feels so good. You know I, what, you I know have exactly the, uh, what I mean. I, I have that, uh, you know, the app that reads you stories at bedtime. Have you seen that one? No, I've uh, not. It's called Calm, the app. I think it's like oh, an international yes. thing. Yeah. And there's lots of celebrities on there that read you uh, bedtime stories that you drift off to, like adult bedtime stories. Uh, and Harry Styles read, uh, read me a uh, bedtime story last night in his gorgeous Yorkshire accent. It was lovely drifting do you off. Know, do you know who uh, read me one a couple of weeks ago? Who? Someone that... A number of years ago, I wasn't a big fan of, but Ooh. I'm liking his stuff now. Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. I've listened to Matthew McConaughey's mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Who is the guy that plays the lead in uh, Peaky Blinders? He's also on there as well. Killian Murphy. He's got a lovely, lovely accent that reads you a gorgeous nighttime story. Oh, it's fantastic. I think he's a bit Northern. I think he's Northern Irish, or he's Irish maybe. Yeah, really ah. beautiful. So I, uh, I recommend it. Sorry, Joe. They're not no, paying me. This is not a hashtag <laughs> ad, by the way, just in case you want. Just see if I listen to the rainforest or the beach ones. It makes me want to oh. go to the toilet during the night. 
I love yeah. the uh, I love the sounds. Yeah, you have little sounds on there. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Really good, doesn't it? Really good. But the problem is, I don't want to become that guy that can't go to sleep unless I've got my sound app on with the sound of raining. You know. <laughs> well, see, talking about that, I can't I can't get to sleep without putting my fan on now. What really? Even in the wind, every night, I'm that used to the sound of a fan on, mm. and that is one of the sounds on that. Really? App is, um, mm. is a fan. How fabulous. It's strange Good when you're you traveling, you haven't got to take a big telescopic fan everywhere with you now. At <laughs> least, least, least I've got the app, Joe, yeah. that I can just put on. But the, uh, the idea with these, it's an actual fact, this has shown it off just beautifully. I don't need to do it again in darker cardstock. But what you've got is you've got your two layers. Now, if you want to use these individually, you can do. What I would suggest, if you are maybe only wanting to use, say for instance, this side here, I would still die cut both sides here. It's just to do with the pressure as it goes through the Gemini. What we can then do is layer it on top of each other. So I'm going to do that still in full view of yourself, but they line up perfectly on top. Beautiful. And you get that outline that you can see here. So whether you want to maybe start to incorporate your acetate or your cardstock and use even just this top one, Let's take that one here. Such a nice one to start to colour in the lines. Gives you a little bit of an embossed effect or a stamped effect. Really good one, phenomenal one as a stained glass nice. window effect. Uh, just quickly as well, a lot of people say, can you do paper piecing? You can do. Only thing you need to take into account, because it's double-sided, lots of these bits that pop out, they've got an embossed effect from the reverse side. So if you don't mind that look, Go for it, do your paper piecing as well. Awesome, and you're getting six really beautiful uh, floral themes in here, which I love. So you're getting cherry blossom, you're also getting the lily, the peony, there's the rose along with the tulip, and of course the water lily in there as well. Karen Fisher's got these. Uh, she says, I have this collection of double-sided dies and I love them. Uh, and they are a brilliant, brilliant deal. Everyone, of course, saving more than they are spending, however, Platinum members, I mean, we're knocking it out of the park, aren't we, today? £48 or $56, considering they should be £22.99 each in the UK or twenty-nine, uh, $25.90, sorry, should I try that again? They should be £22.99 in the UK or £25.95 in the US. So uh, to get all of them for that price is absolutely exceptional value for money. Uh, Dawn says, good morning from New Jersey, crafty friends. Popping on to say hi, uh, watching in the background whilst I work. Have to support my CC habit. Have a great day all. You have a great day as well, Dawn. It is going to be a great day because there's absolutely loads coming up here for you on Crafters TV, uh, which is fantastic. Now, uh, talking of things that are coming up, Craig uh, wants to share with us something else fabulous that's coming up for you today, and it's the fantastic embossing boards. I am indeed. These are so good in the fact nowadays, no longer do you have to make your card around the size of the envelope, you can then make your envelope around the size of your card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these layers up first of all. Now, the reason I've got the ultimate to hand is to explain just in a moment. We've got our envelope box here, and this is what we're going to be having a look at. Now, with this one here, and also one of the other scoreboards that you get within the set, because you do get the three of them, two of them, you'll see you've got little notches at the, each side here. These sit on top of your Ultimate Pro. So they sit in, nestle nicely into your Ultimate Pro. However, don't think that you have to have your Ultimate Pro for it to work. You do not need that. You can uh, use it as a standalone, and that's exactly what we are going to do. And I love it when we have these on the show and I get to uh, explain these ones because every time there's always at least one person that always comes on and thanks us on the team for using these in the show because you sometimes never uh, quite know how to uh, measure them up, line them up. So now is the opportunity as well. So within this one here, what you're also going to get is a guide. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail because that will be coming up in Creative Cravings. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, some of our uh, vintage diary cardstock. So let's do something a little bit different and let's go for an envelope box that's four and a half inches by seven and a half inches. But what it's also going to do is we're going to do it so that it is actually half an inch in depth. And as I say, Debbie will show you these later on again in Creative Cravens, but you do get 
different depths that you can be doing and briefly as well anything that is in white you can do in a4 or letter size anything in blue you can do in 12 by 12 or a3 anything in yellow you're going to need your real larger cardstock so that being said let's go in and we're doing four and a half by seven and a half so I need a piece of cardstock that's nine and three quarters by nine and three quarters. So let's bring in our guillotine. And what I'll do is, doesn't take long to do this, so I'll just explain each step just as we go. What did I say? Nine and three quarters. So let's go in and then we're going to go up to nine and three quarters by nine and three quarters here. There we are. And then what I'm also going to do is, if you can see here, it does say that I need position E and K. We can see here. And it also says that I need position 1 and 2. So what I'm then going to do is, if I bring in my score tool, so this is where we can have a look at position E and K. So we've got lines E, so we've got A, B, C all the way up to the top. Now they are engraved, always harder to see on the screen, but they are, or we can just see them coming through. Thank you, George. Here we go. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do position E and score, and that is into position one. There is a one here. So because we need position two as well, I'm going to lift it up, and I'm going to pop it into position two, and I'm going to score at E again and this is where it's given us our half an inch in depth flip it completely over 180 and I'm going to do that again position E at position 1 and then we're going to slide it into number 2 and I'm going to do E again and then we can then go on to these two opposite sides so this time what I need is position K so let's pop it into 1 and I'm having a look up here to letter K, scored, going into position two, and then we are going to score again. You want this crossover, it will cross over, and that's what you want. Turn it around, that's then going to pop it into place, position one, into position two. We can then score again. Now, all that we need to do is come along, and we're going to fold these lines always always burnish them we don't have time for that today so what i will do is just fold them over and then what we can do is this will be this bit here could be like the top of our envelope that we can see here so what i'm going to do is if i chop into the corner so i'm going to do into here tiny little nick there and there i'm then going to do one down into here there into here as well and then tiny bit of adhesive onto these little tabs there there and then what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into each other press into the bottom into the bottom and then as that comes into place you'll see we will pop some adhesive onto the back here and then there creates our envelope envelope box that is four and a half inches by seven and a half inches and it is half an inch in depth that we can see here so that's what's coming up later on today on creative cravings 7 p.m here in the uk 2 p.m eastern time 11 a.m pacific time so you see a lot more uh, ideas and inspiration when it comes to these ones here but joe i know you've got a couple of things as well don't you i absolutely have gilmore says can we get craig ben and joe to read us bedtime craft stories <gasps> I'm not sure what would happen if you, I mean, me reading your story, I would dread to think what the dreams would be like. Uh, Aisha says, uh, Craig's doing it all today. Mixed media, aqua markers, double-sided dice, envelope boxes, MDF characters. What can't this extra, uh, artist extraordinaire not do? Not much, I don't think, Therese, uh, Aisha. Therese says, I really need this lesson. Uh, so thank you, 
Craig. Now remember, excitingly, all our retail stores here in the UK were able to open again, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. So you can see them all uh, here. Chesterfield, of course, is open Monday to Saturday, 9.30 to 4.30, and then 10.30 to 4.30. Uh, you can also see all of the uh, opening hours there for Evesham, and of course, uh, Boundary Mill as well. Uh, and even more excitingly than that, uh, that our head of retail sales looks after all of our stores. Helen uh, is going to be coming up, isn't she, Craig, real soon? Uh, on your wake-up call. She is indeed. She's going to be coming up tomorrow. You may have seen her on Monday from the Chesterfield stall, store, so uh, that was really nice to have a little bit of a uh, uh, chat with her. So tomorrow she is uh, coming up from the Evesham store, so that's going to be really nice to see. You know a lot of excitement here in the UK uh, for all you crafters that just love us to bits and be able to go back into our stores again. And uh, it's nice to see how it's all been set out as well, you know, just keeping everyone safe. But we'll see Helen again tomorrow as well. Now what you want to do as well is when you are across in the store if you've not been into them yet all that i'll just do is give you a little bit of a heads up of they've changed slightly uh, and layout and that sort of look for uh, the best way for you guys you know safety and also for the best for the store as well i think actually i think they've taken the opportunity to give the stores a little bit of a revamp as well when it comes to the flow of the stores i've seen a few photos and it looks so so good so uh yeah that's going to be a good one as well looking forward to tomorrow as i uh, always do but that is then uh, going to be wake up call so if uh, you're relatively new to us then that's wake up call so it's 12 p.m here in the uk uh, for you guys stateside 7 a.m eastern time or uh, 4 a.m pacific time that's going to be monday to friday that you've got myself and it's my myself and either Joe or Ben or if Becky's in the building she will be here as well so I hope you can uh, join me tomorrow as well where the remainder of this week is going to be with myself and Joe and if he doesn't know it he does now but he's going to be back later on today with Debbie all about the craft along so that's going to be 3 p.m here in the UK 10 a.m eastern time 7 a.m pacific time and then what we're going to be doing is uh, finishing out the day on crafters tv finishing out the night time night time here in the UK is going to be creative craving so that's it's going to be 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, or of course 11 a.m. Pacific Time. And then what I'm also going to tell you as well, after that, half past nine here in the UK, 1.30, no, 4.30 Eastern Time, 1.30 Pacific Time, I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live from my house giving you a bit of a preview tease as to what to expect with myself and Joe on Cartload tomorrow. So uh, afterwards, if you still want your creative craving, because we will still be uh, getting a bit creative, I'm going to be doing that one as well. Thank you so much for your, your comments as well. You know, still slow, so many of them popping through as well. Still get your comments and your photos coming in for the remainder day with Joe and Debbie. I will see you tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be joining these guys, well, at home and watching them just like you will be as well. Have a lovely rest of the day and we'll see you. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.